occupational structure. Now let us try and understand what is occupational structure. It is how many people engage themselves in what kind of occupation and the occupation can be divided into primary, secondary and tertiary. Primary occupation is all that which involves agriculture, mining, fishing, forestry that is the primary occupation of the country. Then we have the secondary occupation. The secondary occupation is all about manufacturing and processing. It could be building or it could be construction or it could be manufacturing. Then is the tertiary sector. Tertiary sector includes the transport, communication, hospitality and so many other such services which in fact are neither producing nor are processing or making it further. It is just providing service to the nation that is the tertiary sector and by the number of people employed in either of the sectors we come to know about the development of the country. For example, if it is an underdeveloped country then most of the people will be involved in the primary sector and in India still agriculture is the main occupation of the people. If it is a developed country then most of the people are engaged in the secondary and the tertiary sector. So, determining or knowing about the occupational structure of the country can give us a clear picture of the development of the country. Now, let us talk about the health of the population. Health of the population is very, very essential because a healthy citizen can actually be a productive citizen. If the citizens of the country are not healthy, are sick, they cannot be good in the production of the country. They cannot be an asset of the nation. They cannot do anything good for the country. Therefore, there are many factors which have to be kept in mind to see that the population of the country is healthy. Malnutrition is very common in India and many people suffer from malnutrition that is they do not require they do not get the kind of food that their body needs. Safe drinking water and hospitals and dispensaries and other medical aids must be provided to all the people living in various parts of the country in order to have healthy citizens. If the citizens are healthy, it is a developed nation. If people are sick, then definitely it cannot be termed as very healthy country. Adolescent population. Adolescent population is in fact that population of the country which falls in the category of 10 to 19 years and they are the most important population of the country because they are the future of the country, the Dolsons. They are the ones who are actually going to rule the country in future and most of the Dolson girls in India face the problem of anemia and if the adolescent population is literate, if it is educated, if it is healthy, if it is aware, if it is knowledgeable, if it has skills, then the country is a successful developed country.